I am collecting signatures for the main clean energy ballot initiative. <laughs> I understand 360, I don't understand 350. Ah, 350 is the parts per million of carbon in the atmosphere that will allow life on the planet to be sustainable. And we're now at 395 parts per million of carbon, and it will take significant work to get, us, to get us back to 350, if that's even possible now. We may be talking merely about mitigating the effects of the disaster we've created. Uh -huh. <laughs> then it looks like your hair just went. It just goes, I just fade back into the... Uh, <laughs> North in Canada and bring it down. Floated oh, wait, it's already melted. systemic risk, which is what climate change poses for the world economy. How much attention... Uh, Bob Klotz, I'm with Occupy Maine TV and 350.org, and I just was mentioning to you and the crowd the, that Bill McKibben is coming this weekend to the Hope Festival here in Orono, Maine from 11 to 4, so we're really excited that uh, he's going to be coming this way. Um, a couple of things, the, the imagery in the film was just incredible, and, and congratulations on the work there. And the word courage just kept coming up for me as I saw your work and the work of the president. Um, I want to comment that I, I've been in contact with thousands of people across the state of Maine who want to see this film. So as a selfish request of all of us, uh, particularly there's been talk about showing it at universities because I think the younger uh, people really uh, need to see this kind of stuff. And so whatever you can do and whatever we can do to get this shown more widely in Maine, uh, we're very interested in working with you on that. Um, well, thank you. I mean, one thing you can do is um, uh, uh, tell Anthony to book it for a week or two at the uh, <laughs> Railroad Square there. Uh, <laughs> For me, um, I, I just think Nasheed is um, kind of one of those once-in-a-lifetime figures who reminds us a certain um, lesson or a certain kind of reality about human nature. And that is that um, things can get really dark, but um, it doesn't mean that there's no hope. And I think that that's kind of a, the way he takes that, and it's been pretty persuasive um, just kind of being around that for this period of time in my life. Basically, you know, here's a guy who's, you know, a smart, kind of can-do guy, and he gets up every day and he asks himself, what can I do? You know, what what do I have in my power today to do to help? And, you know, he woke up one day and he was president of the Maldives, and he saw clearly that climate um, change was the, you know, not only a threat to his country, but a threat to the world, and he started working on that. And he, and he brings this kind of bottom-up mentality to everything he does. And so it took me a while, but I guess one lesson that I feel like I've learned is that we all can do that. I think the 350 people in the crowd know that, that, that leaders don't change unless people tell them that they demand change. And um, I think that it, it might sound kind of old school and maybe like we don't have enough of that spirit in this country like we once did, but 
um, I think that there that there are a lot of people who do care deeply about these issues in, in the country, and I think that um, um, one one kind of interesting way that Nasheed, not to be too much on a tangent, but one inter interesting way that Nasheed answered this question once is he said, "Look, I don't hope; I just work." And I just thought that was a really interesting way to put it. You know, instead of using the word hope and hoping for a better future and hoping for change, um, you know, it, that kind of puts the burden on the world or on somebody else to do it. Whereas if you get up every day and you work for work for change and you and you actually do something that that um, that you have control over in your life um, to to try to bring about change in the world, then it's just a. Uh, I think that she kind of um, I don't know how to say it, but I think that he he has that spirit, and that that that, that is the reality of his life. And um, that you know, if the if the world ends up going to hell, uh, that at least he he go he goes knowing that he that he he did everything he could. I think it's things like that, you know, like individual actions, asking yourself what you can do at your school, at your company, in your community, um, at what, you know, whatever power that you have, um, those things add up, I think. All right, thank you guys, and, and I want to also thank 350. They've been such an incredible organization, and I think they, they're doing some of the most important work in, in the environment in this country, and I want them to to know that we know that and that we care deeply and that we're, we're, we're hoping to continue to be a strong partner with them as the film rolls out across the country.